So I ended up buying it for 35 grand. I took it to the ballpark. I said, I'm gonna wear this sucker. Joe Torrey caught wind of it. He's like, hey, you can't wear that hat. It's not required uniform. I'm like, yo, how cool would that be to wear the hat? Babe Ruth wore it, now I'm wearing it in a game and kind of brings back history a little bit because it is history. I'm like, I'm gonna wear this hat. He goes, no, you're not. I go, oh, yeah, I am. I was warming up. I walked by him, and he was looking right at my hat. I looked down, I'm like, see, I don't have it on. But I went up to my locker, put it on. And I'm looking up the tunnel. I see Jorge and, and Derek, and they're looking at me, and I'm like, go, just run out there. Because when you run out there, they start the music, and I'm like, go. So they took off running, and then I came right on the mound, and Joe's pissed. He goes, take the hat off. He goes, I told you not to wear it. And I said, well, I wore it. It's pretty cool. And he goes, well, you're not wearing it anymore. After the game, he called me in. He's like, yeah, hey, you're fine, $2,500. I'm like, that's it? And I said, all right, whatever it is. At least I got to wear the hat and, you know, history is history. So I bought it for 35 grand and I took a lot of grief for paying that much for a hat. I saw on the paper a Babe Ruth jersey and it was going up for auction. I said, if somebody's not going to get the jersey, they're going to buy the hat. So I ended up putting a hat in the auction and ended up getting like $550,000, $600,000 for it. That's a good investment on my part. That's the saga of that hat. It was pretty cool.